F16 F16 Rack Tutorial 1 Input Channel Strip The screen contains 8 channel strips. Master 1 channel strip will master the rest of the channel strip. Each channel strip is formed up by several sections as below. 1. Input Section 2. PEQ Section 3. Dynamic Section 4. Bus Send Section 5. Signal Meter Section 6. Fader Level Section 7. Pan Section 8. Custom Name Section 9. Solo Section 10. Mute Section 1. Input Section Let's explore the input section. Find out what icons will show in this section and what those icons mean. Channel Default Name This is the system default channel name. It will not change after channel rename. Channel Horizontal Link Icon This icon tells that this channel is linked horizontally, left and right. Example, Channel 1 and Channel 2, Channel 3 and Channel 4, Channel 5 and Channel 6. Channel Vertical Link Icon This icon tells that the channel was linked vertically, top and bottom. Example Channel 1 and Channel 9 Channel 2 and Channel 10 Channel 3 and Channel 11 Phantom Power Icon The Phantom Power Icon will show up if the channel has Phantom Power applied. Phase Icon The Phase Icon will show up if the channel has Phase applied. Delay Icon The Delay Icon will show up if the channel has Delay applied. FX Icon The FX Icon will show up if the channel has FX applied. Modulation 1, Modulation 2, Delay 1, Delay 2, Reverb 1, Reverb 2, GEQ 1, GEQ 2. 2. EQ Section The High Pass Filter Icon appears if it has been activated. Change to the EQ setting in the Channel Configuration EQ page will update this section in real time. 3. Dynamic Section This section shows both the gate and compressor status for the channel. Change to the gate or compressor settings from the Channel Configuration page will update this section in real time. 4. Bus Send Section This section tells us where the input signal was sent to and the Scent Level. The Bus Send Level settings are adjusted either from the Channel Configuration page or using the Fader Follow mode. If the signal is sent to AUX1 with Pre-Fader setting, this section will display A1 with the green level bar. If the signal is sent to AUX1 with Post-Fader setting, this section will display A1 with the orange level bar. 5. Signal Meter Section Signal meter section shows the input signal level. Depends on the meter range settings, the default display is post fader meter. 6. Fader level section. This indicates the fader level for the channel. 7. Pan section. The channel pan level displayed in percentage. 8. Custom name section. The user defined channel name. The label background color is changeable as per the user preference. Change the label background when renaming the channel name. 9. Solo Section Tap on this solo button at any time to monitor the channel signal with headphones. 10. Mute Section Mute or unmute the channel signal. Thank you for watching. Should you have any questions, please visit our website or drop us an email. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial video.